Supposed to be 85 today. Let me fix that flag real quick. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Father's Day to you. Look at this cool beard kit that I'm going to get to use here in a little bit. It's got a uh, battery readout on every single one of them. There's more stuff underneath. Before I went to bed last night, <laughs> I had another Ford technician on here message me and be, be, he was like, hey man, there's there's some dude on the the Ford forums, the technician forums talking trash about you and uh, sent me some screenshots of what's going on and I was like, oh, that's neat. I know who it is. It's the same geek at the dealership that uh, I've chewed him out several times for being a little girl about stuff and crying about things and now that he's not at the dealership anymore he wants to talk bad behind my back oh he never had any that dude never had no master ford certification he never had no senior this or that really paperwork wise you are correct and i've been honest about that um Time-wise, tenure-wise, and training-wise, uh, I meet all the qualifications for it. That's why I'm paid for it. Uh, the only thing I didn't get was the last two classes, the transmission classes, to make the paperwork official. So I'm not going to let a bullshit dealership hold me back and then say, oh, I'm nobody. Hell no. Senior Master Certified. I've met all the requirements for it. I've done all the online testing for it. I can perform all the tasks for it. It's not my fault they didn't want to send me to the last two classes. So regardless, and I've been honest with it, uh, this, I guess this guy wanted to go on there now that he's hurt. He's hurt and he's feeling vengeful. And you know, hurt people, hurt people, hurt other people. That's how they deal with themselves being hurt. Now that the dealership closed down and uh, he's feeling, you know, facetious and was always jealous of me i was always having to like get him to chill out by chewing his ass out and telling him like like you sound like a little girl right now shut up like seriously run your mouth run your mouth to me or run it behind my back run it to me directly to me because we can handle it right now that's the kind of relationship i would have with him from time to time because he was a loner he didn't really talk to people he looked angry all the time and then he would say stuff under his breath and everything else and i would hear it sometimes and i'd be like what'd you say I mean, you can say it to me right now. I mean, I'm, I'm all about that life. You can say it to me right now. We can handle this right now. But he would never do it. He would always get quiet and stuff. Like, oh, I don't got, I got a problem with you. Right? That's, not, that's what I thought. So, naturally, the guy, you know, felt inferior to me and stuff like that because I'm a very confrontational person. If you got something to say about me, say it to me. Because I'm not scared of nobody. There's not a man on this earth, or earth I'm scared of. And if you're going to beat me up, you're just going to beat me up. That's how it is. But I'll take it. Because uh, we, we can get there and find out. And I guess now that the dealership closed, he felt somebody was like, oh, rest in peace, Dundee Ford on this technician, Ford technician forum. And somebody popped up underneath and was like, isn't that where that Ford boss guy worked? Uh, and he popped up, oh, yeah, but he was always videoing all the time. Yeah, I was videoing, uh, videoing all the time. That's what I was doing, but I was still getting my work done. And I was still getting customers through, and I was still bringing more business in, and I was still helping thousands and thousands and thousands of people out there all over the world with their Ford needs and other technicians. So I was. And I was getting paid good to do it. So can we be jealous anymore? <laughs> kind of thing. And uh, I actually re I found his uh, Facebook profile on Facebook, and I directly messaged him, and I sent him pictures of the screenshots. And said, you want to talk behind my back? Then we can do it right now. You can, you can, you can address it directly with me. I just messaged him head on. You, you have a problem? Then let's address it. If not, shut your mouth. I don't want to hear it. Don't be talking behind another man's back. If you can't talk to him directly and say things about him to his face, don't talk about him behind his back. Because that just makes you seem like a coward, right? Kind of thing. And uh, I let him know. I said, dude, you were the one always crying about jobs being too tough for you, too big for you, and stuff like that. You were the one always crying about the diag. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't get into this electrical work. 
yet you'll take the short blocks and the timing chains over and over again because that's all you know how to do. You don't know, literally know how to do anything else other than that. You were groomed in the dealership to only do these handful of tasks and do nothing else because they know you would throw a fit. They know you can't physically do it. They know you can't mentally and logically and educationally do it. Just not in your wheelhouse. So they give you the same jobs over and over again because you make them good money on those jobs. So same four or five jobs and that's it. So don't don't talk trash because I can embarrass you. So that's how I ended up going to bed last night is getting this dropped in my lap. And then, he, huh, do I say anything? Do I not say anything? You know what? He's hurt. So he's going to try to hurt other people. So I'm going to message him directly. And I did. And I said, if you want to be exposed, I mean, I have no problem doing it. I can expose you uh, to these guys on these this technician form. I can easily do it. I could drop it right in their lap and be like, this is the kind of dude that you guys have been dealing with. And this is the kind of person he was. So you want more info on who you're dealing with? Here it is. But I didn't. I kept it to myself. I didn't drop any names or anything like that. And I messaged him directly and I said what I had to say to him. Directly to him. But this morning I woke up. I didn't sleep very good. I tossed and turned all night. And uh, came, sat down here for a little bit. Replied to a bunch of messages. I got to make... Uh, my part of the address list for uh, the wedding stuff. I'm going to sit down here a little bit this morning. Um, I'll get that all situated and straightened out and write all the addresses down for her. And we'll get invitations and all that crap sent out. And, well, I messaged I messaged Grandpa this morning. I said, Pops, what do you want to do? You want to go have you want to go have breakfast or he said no nah, i just woke up myself i'm gonna i'm gonna wake up real slow and just kind of ease into my day and then i'll be over there tonight for dinner and stuff and he says oh cool all right then well then we'll go we're gonna order breakfast then i want a country country fried steak so that's what i'm getting for father's day breakfast country fried steak so if y'all see some of that drama out there, some Ford technician or somebody popping up saying that they've seen something, that's that's the story behind it. It's, it's a dude that's hurt and bitter about me being successful, and he wants to talk trash about me. But it is what it is. I'm a general manager now. I've moved on to bigger and better things, making more pay than him and more successful than him. And A lot of people can't, they, they don't like to see other people succeed better than they are, especially in the same job and have more than they do, so... They, they got to say what they got to say to make you feel bad or make people, I don't know. Anyhow, y'all be blessed. I love y'all. Take care. Uh, I hope you have a great day today. Happy Father's Day to you. And uh, I wanted to update you on some Ford drama in case it pops up and you're trying to figure out what the heck these people or this one or two individuals. And, of course, you've got your Ford technicians. There's like two or three of them that jump in the comment section. Oh, yeah, he's bullshit. And everybody else is like, no, I thought that dude was a good dude, man. He was. He's always helped me out and always been there for me. But you got those one or two guys, you know, that they're too afraid to say anything. I, and one guy I did notice, he's in Illinois. I actually sent him a screenshot of the messages to see if he's froggy enough to come or to, to say it to me. To see. To, just to see. Uh Anyhow, y'all have a great day. Be blessed. Happy Father's Day again, and uh, I'll catch you later.